Hey, this is Rachel Simmons, and I'm going to show you how to make a jelly print accordion with handmade paper covers. I made this book called Particulate Memories based on my memory of watching glaciers calve in Antarctica. As the inspiration for my book took hold, I developed imagery and wrote text on my typewriter, combining them into the book that you're looking at. Measure out your strip of cover weight paper for the accordion and then divide it into thirds. Make a mark at one third and two thirds. Use your L ruler and score. And repeat that on both sides. That's because we're making a six page accordion, which means we fold into thirds rather than halves. Once you folded it into thirds, flip it over and bring each mountain fold over to the left. Next, we're gonna set up to do our jelly prints. I have a surface to mix ink on, and the ink I'm using is Caligo Safe Wash Relief. I have a jelly plate. Um, it's a five by seven jelly plate. And I have a piece of uh, material up above the jelly plate that I'm gonna use to make textures. So I'm mixing my ink. I've added some extender and I'm also um, have added just a little bit of dryer to help speed the drying along. going to roll out a nice lean slab and apply it to the jelly plate. Once I've got ink on the jelly plate, I'm going to apply this material, pressing it by hand. And once I pull it away, I'll have a kind of dotted grid texture. Now I'm going to put my paper face down, apply some light pressure. I'm using a larger sheet on top just to keep ink off my hands. And then I will pull my print and see what I get. What I like about jelly prints is that each print is unique. There's um, a level of surprise and discovery that happens when you pull each one. And there's a real delicacy to uh, the transparency of the ink, particularly if you use a thin paper like this Thai Kozo. Jelly printing is a form of monotype, and one of the things you can do with monotype is layer up. As I work through the black layers, I'm gonna be experimenting with removing ink. Um, I'm gonna create some stencils with masking tape so I can block out certain areas. And I'm just gonna use my rag also to rub away or soften the edges of the ink. There's so many things you can do with this process, so I suggest experimenting.
book pages are printed, but I need to add text. There are two ways to do that. You can run the sheets directly through your typewriter once they're dry. Uh, you can also, of course, type on another sheet of paper and collage that into your book. In my finished book, I ended up typing on carbon paper, cutting that out and collaging it into the book. Once your pages are printed, you need to add them to the accordion. I suggest using double-sided tape, and once the page is adhered, trim the extra overhang from the page away from the accordion. As you add pages using this method, be sure to leave yourself a very small gap in between pages to allow for the accordion to fold smoothly. Once your book is assembled, you're ready to cover it. Take your single sheet of handmade paper and lay it down. Put the book on top and start scoring around the edges as I'm doing here. If you're careful, you can turn the book from left to right and leave yourself a gap for the spine. Cutting handmade paper can be tricky. Be sure you have a very sharp blade on your knife or mark it out with pencil and cut very carefully using scissors. Once you cut your cover paper, you're ready to adhere it to the book. But first, make sure it fits. And also score two parallel lines a spines width apart. This is a good way to do it here. You're gonna push it to the edge and score. Once you have those two marks paralleling each other, they should be less than an eighth of an inch apart. You can start to fold them in and create a box around the spine. Once you're sure that your cover fits, you're ready to glue it to the book. Grab your Uhu glue stick and uh, some waste paper so you don't get glue on the book. Go out from the center, make sure you get all the edges covered with an even layer of glue, and then line up one cover with the pa first page and the back cover with the last page. Smooth as you go, and put it under some weight at the end if, it, if you need to.
book is almost finished. You just need to put a title on the outside. I ran this uh, piece of Taikozo that I had printed through my typewriter. I added the title and I added my name. And it's just a single strip that's gonna wrap around from the front cover to the back. Congratulations. Enjoy your new artist book.